Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today. We are going to be making some Christmas tags for our Christmas presents. I have picked out four of them. I got these molds from Timu, and I think they are going to be beautiful. Okay, we're going to start with I mixed up some of the Bond Crafter Epoxy Resin. Um, I've been using it for uh, probably about two weeks now, and I'm really enjoying this epoxy resin. Um, you can go read the reviews on Amazon and see how creators are loving this resin, and I am too, you guys. Um, the one-gallon kit is $38.99. The 32 ounce kit is $18.99 and 16 ounce is $10.39. Um, it, it also says this resin is food safe. I mean, you know, I'm neither here nor there with that one, but, you know, you do your own research and, you know, form your own opinions. Okay, I'm going to start with this snowflake mold right here. And on the outside of the uh, snowflake it says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year we're going to drop this blue glitter down in the center there where the snowflakes at this resin uh, is 8 hour demold uh, 24 hour cure and it's beginner friendly um, I stirred for 3 minutes and it was ready you know ready to pour I let it sit for two minutes to let it kind of degas and let the bubbles come to the top before I poured. But I'm really enjoying it. I really am. I would never tell you guys anything other than the truth about how I feel about any product that I test or review on my channel. But I'm going to be buying some more of this resin when I use up what they sent to me. Now I'm going to have some of the deep pour they sent me for a while because that comes in three gallons you know because it, their deep pour is a two to one resin that means you're going to get uh two jugs for the hardener and one jug for the resin i think i said that right or vice versa <laughs> okay now we're going to start on this next mold here and i'm just going to pour some resin in this cup right here and then I'll choose a color to start with this one. And I'm not reviewing uh, Bond Crafters resin in this video. I've already reviewed it. Um, I did their, I reviewed their deep pour first, and then I reviewed their epoxy resin one to one after that. Um, I'll just sharing some of the um, perks about their resin in case you may have missed my video where I reviewed this epoxy resin. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this holographic green, green. <laughs> this holographic green in my cup here, and I spritzed a little bit of alcohol in the mold. Now, this little mold here has the two Christmas trees in it, so we're going to drop the green in there where the Christmas trees are at, and then I'm going to move it around and make sure I have it all in the little design in the mold. And the outside rim on this one also says a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And we'll let these cure up and then we'll go on with the second step after they've cured. I'm going to put a little bit more in there because it hasn't quite filled the little design in there. It has two precious little Christmas trees in it. And then I think we'll do the outside rim in this green too. I think that will be beautiful. And maybe we can uh, bring out the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year with like a pearl white or something. We'll go with some kind of white. I'm not sure which one I'll choose yet. How's everyone doing today? How is your Wednesday going? Mine's going pretty good. I have been cooking a lot today. Um, like I said, I've been trying to get, 
you know, my videos finished and edited so I can have tomorrow off for Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to go ahead and heat that resin up, get it to moving a little bit and make sure that my Christmas trees are, you know, completely filled with resin and I'm popping any of those surface bubbles. Now I'm going to take my little tool here and I'm just going to go through here, nudge any bubbles, you know, and make them come to the top so I can pop them. I'm just making sure that all the points on my Christmas trees have resin and glitter in them. And now I'm going to walk around the mold and I'm just going to kind of travel through that resin a little bit. And if there's any bubbles in there, kind of push them so they can come on and come to the top. And I'm making sure I go slow while I do that and not whip through the resin because then I'd be defeating the purpose. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done, and then we can go ahead and move to the next mold. All right, I'm going to spritz a little bit of alcohol in the mold. And now I'm going to reach up here and grab a, one of my uh, iridescent flakes. And I think that would look nice in this next one. And I'm just going to get a little scoop out of there and add it to my cup here. I'm trying to figure out which cup I had for this one <laughs> because I divided it all out into different cups. And some was getting color and glitter and some was just clear. And this was one of my clear ones right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stir up the iridescent flakes inside of the glitter here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pour it into the mold. I'm not pouring in any special place inside of this mold. We're just going to go ahead and put it all in this mold right here. I'm going to get my heat gun and heat the resin up a little bit and pop any of those surface bubbles. There's a uh, design and writing down in this mold. So we're going to go ahead and take my tool here and I sped this part up because it's going to take me a minute to get all of the bubbles that are hanging on to my design inside of the mold. I'm just making sure I take this tool and move in and out of the design and getting the bubbles out because they're trying to hang on in there <laughs> and we want them out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spritz a little alcohol in there and then we're going to drop in these really cute Christmas inclusions. They have gingerbreads, um, some little, it looks like little cookies, some little candy pieces, and then some gold beads. It's a very, very cute Christmas mix. And I got this Christmas mix from Timu. Okay, I'm going to spritz a little alcohol in the next mold over here. And we're going to go ahead and drop in some resin on the outside rim. And I'm using the resin that had the iridescent uh, little glitter flakes in it. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit in the mold. I got a little bit of the resin in the center and I don't want it there. Okay, I went and poured some of this glitter mix in my cup here and it has some um, little blue flakes in there and some white uh, glistening snowflakes. So we're going to take those snowflakes and we're going to just drop them in and I'm just going to keep going all around the mold with the snowflakes and I'm just setting them right next to each other. Also, if you wanted to try this resin out, um, you can use, I do have a discount code for you in my description box as well for this resin. My Amazon discount code has expired, but I still have a discount code for their website that you can use. And it get, does give me a little kickback, you know, every little bit helps. Okay, there's that. I'm finished with that one. Now we're going to let these cure up. We have one more to do here. And I thought we would do red glitter. This is like a beautiful um, warm red and it's extra fine. 
and it has that holographic look to it as well and I'm just gonna follow around the edge of the mold with it I don't want this glitter in the center uh, this is the Santa Claus one so we're gonna drop in a little dab on Santa's hat you know where the little ball dangles on Santa's hat at the end the tip we're gonna be putting a little bit of the red glitter there and that's it around the edges and on the end of Santa's hat where the ball is supposed to be at. I know that's usually white, but we're making ours red. <laughs> because this is art and we can do it how we want, right? <laughs> okay, I popped any of the surface bubbles and now I'm going to take my little tool here and I'm just going to go around the mold and nudge any of those bubbles to the top. All right, I slowed the video back down. We're in real time now, and I'm just going to put some resin inside of my cup here. And then I'm going to be adding some of this beautiful pink holographic glitter. I get these from Timu, and I buy them. They come in like a set of 12 different colors, and I have been really, really enjoying these. They are beautiful. I think they're stunning. And I, yeah, I've just been really enjoying these uh, glitters. Okay, here's our little um, mix right here that we made. These are cured now. And we're going to go ahead and drop in that pink holographic glitter behind our gingerbread cookie mix. And usually when you get these glitters, you usually get like 10 grams, 15 grams, you know, something like that. These bags of the holographic glitter come in 30 gram bags. So you get a pretty good amount. Okay, I'm just taking my heat gun and I'm just running it around the mold, heating that resin up a little bit, getting it to move, and any of those bubbles will come to the top so we can pop them. Now I'm going to... Uh, put some of the red holographic glitter into my cup right here. And this is also one of the Timu holographic glitter mixes. I'm making sure I get the sides of the cup and the bottom of the cup really well. Look at that glitter, you guys. Beautiful. That is so beautiful. I'm such a glitter girl. I think I probably was born with glitter in my hair. I mean, I just love glitter. Okay, now I'm going to drop in that red holographic glitter behind our beautiful um, holographic green Christmas trees. And I think when we throw on that pearl white writing, this uh tag is going to be so beautiful. Okay, I'm just running my heat gun around that resin, popping any of those surface bubbles. Now I'm going to take my little tool here and I'm just going to run it around the surface and get that glitter down into the resin because some of it wants to sit and float on the top and I'm just making sure all of it's down into the resin. I spritzed a little alcohol on my tissue here. I'm going to clean it off and do the uh, same thing on the mold next door to that one. Okay, now I'm going to get on out of there. I don't want to mix it, be it, stay in there too long and just make a bunch of bubbles in it. <laughs> now I'm going to grab my holographic silver glitter here. This is a mix of the octagon and the really fine and it's so beautiful and I dropped a few flakes of it in my resin right here in the red so I'm picking it out. <laughs> now I'm going to get a popsicle stick and I'm going to stir that up really good in my resin and I think we need a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to spritz a little alcohol in the mold. And now we're going to go ahead and pour that into the Santa Claus mold. 
and then I will paint the Santa Claus on there. I haven't really uh, decided how I'm going to do that yet. Now I'm taking my heat gun, popping any of those surface bubbles, spritz a little alcohol. Now I'm going to grab my Casting Craft White Opaque Colorant, and I'm going to drop about three drops down in my cup here, and then I'm going to be adding some of these iridescent flakes into my cup here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stir that up, and you really have to stir any of the Casting Craft Opaque Colorants up really good make sure you get them stirred up really well. I sped this part up a little bit. Now I'm going to grab my disco glitter and I'm going to drop a few of just like a little sprinkle down in my cup. I'm going to go ahead and stir that up and hopefully that disco glitter will come to the go ahead and float to the bottom which will be the top when we demold it and we'll get a real pretty sparkle from it. I'm just making sure I get all of that resin out of the cup there. I didn't quite have enough. I, I thought I wasn't going to have enough. <laughs> so I was making sure I got every drop out of there. Now I'm spritzing a little bit of alcohol on my Q-tips here. And I'm just cleaning off the rims of my molds. Because that way when I demold these guys, I won't have that extra resin holding on to my casting. And I won't have all that cleanup to do. I see a little bit of the silver glitter in the back of this, so I'm picking it out. Somehow it flew into this one. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use my heat gun, pop any surface bubbles in there. Spritz a little alcohol in all four of them. And now I'm taking my little silicone tipped brush here and I'm poking that glitter back down into the resin that has came to the surface. Now I clean my brush off and I'm going to do the same thing in this mold right here. We're getting ready to cover these and wait for them to demold. So I'm making sure I have everything done. That one had a lot of glitter trying to sit on the surface. <laughs> Okay, we're back, you guys. Y'all ready to demold these and see what they look like? I'm so excited. This is our gingerbread cookie mix. And here it is. I know it doesn't look like much of nothing right now, you guys. But once we bring that Merry Christmas out on it, it's going to be so cute. It turned out very cute. I like it. Okay, this one is our snowflake one. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. This one has Merry Christmas and Happy New Year around the outside. We'll be bringing that out in blue. This one is our Christmas tree, I believe. Christmas trees. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that glitter just dancing. Oh, it's beautiful. Here is our Santa Claus one. And I know this one isn't going to look like much of nothing either until we bring our Santa out on it. And there it is. That glitter is gorgeous. Okay, now we've got some work to do, you guys. Let's start with this one here. And I'm going to put down this red paint inside of the Merry Christmas. 
and my little um, tip here is clogged up. So I'm just going to show y'all how I unclog it right quick. I take this little tool here. It has um, some little uh, teeth on it that grabs that dry paint out of there really fast. And then I'm on my way to using it again. I just run it through there a few times. And then put it back on. I'm going to just reach in there and grab that gloopy stuff out. And that way it won't clog up again on me. And now we're ready to roll. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this red on here. But if I don't, we will cover it in some kind of glitter. And the glitter will hold on to that paint and dry there. And then it'll be good to go. So, let's see. Yeah, I end up not liking this, you guys. And we're going to be putting some holographic glitter over it while it's wet. There it is. I don't like it. I'm going to run through here and clean it up a little bit. And I missed a spot up here, so I'm going to add some paint to it. And I keep a little um, container filled with these bottles. And I picked out like some colors that you would use all the time. You know, like black, red, white, pink, blue, purple. You know, just your basic colors and filled all the little paint bottles up. So that way I could just reach, grab one, and go. And I wouldn't have to, you know, take the time to stop and fill them. So I keep a pretty good bit of them filled up with paint already. Okay, I'm going to grab that blue holographic glitter from Timu. And I'm just going to put it over that paint. And then try to pour off the excess. And we'll let it dry there. And then I'll brush it off. And then we'll be able to see it. There it is. It's not dry yet, but I was able to get most of it off. Now we're going to take the J-Diction UV resin, and I'm going to squirt a little down in both of these cups here. And we're going to be using this to paint our Santa on. And I'm going to be using the Hippie Crafters um, True Red and their White to uh, paint the Santa on. I reviewed their mica powders in my last video, and I really, really liked them. So I'm going to continue to work with them and see if I like the other colors as much as I enjoyed the red and the white, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying some more mica powders from Hippie, Hippie Crafters. Their mica powders whips up in your resin like butter, like silicone, and it's like it's really, really fine and packed down in that little container there. So you get so much of it. I don't know. It's amazing. Has anybody else worked with the Hippie Crafter um, mica powders? If you have, let me know your experience with them. And I also have a discount code for you guys. If you do want to try out Hippie Crafters mica powders or anything else on their website, It'll be in my description box. Okay, I'm just taking that white and painting on Santa's hat. And I'm curing it up with my little light here. And I'm just doing like a little quick cure. And then I'll take it over to my um, big curing machine and I will fully cure it there. But I use it, have it plugged up on my table across the room. So I'm just going to use this to kind of quick cure it. And then I'll take it over there and fully cure it. Now I'm doing Santa's beard in white. That's looking cute, you guys. Looking so cute. Um, um wonder how I'm going to bring out his eyes and his nose. 
I'm thinking I might do his mouth and his nose in red. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm going to grab the red here, and I think I'm going to do his mouth in red, his nose in red, and then I may go grab one of my Posca pens and do his eyes in black. Okay, I'm going to cure that up right quick. Then I'm going to grab my white, and I'm going to do his eyebrows in white. Then I'm going to cure that up, just a little quick cure. Now I'm going to grab my Posca pen in black, and then I'm just going to bring out his eyes with this, right like that. So cute. What do you guys think? Do you think that's cute? I think it is super cute. Then I'm going to take this Diamond Dust Glitter UV Resin by Timu in silver, and I'm going to travel his hat and just kind of shape it up a little bit with this silver because it kind of looks a little funky right there where the white meets the red. So I'm just going to kind of just shape it up a little bit, sharpen it up a bit. Then I'm going to take one of my little uh, brushes here, my micro brushes, and I'm just going to whoop it through there, clean it up, make it look nice and then cure it up. I'm going to go back the other way, pick up anything that I missed, get that line looking crisp. Cleaning off any excess on his hat before I cure it. And now I'm doing a little quick cure here. And there we go. I think it turned out fantastic. What do you guys think? Okay, now we have one more area to do on this one. So I'm going to go in with my pearl white and I'm going to drop it in that Happy New Year on the bottom here. I wanted this one to be like a two-tone because I think it's going to make it look um, much better because that holographic blue, it kind of dances around so much that you have to turn it to the side to kind of see exactly what it says. It's just so busy. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter over the top of that paint. Give it a little bit more um, glisten to it. Okay, I'm going to let it dry and then we'll uh, clean it off. Let's go ahead and work on this one while that one's drying. This one also says um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year around the edge. And I picked out this beautiful blue here to um, bring out the, letter, the saying on this tag. I'm just going to drop that paint down into the letters there, and then we'll swipe it. So there's the Mary. Dropping the paint down in there. Then we'll swipe it with my finger, and there's the Christmas. I think that blue is going to be gorgeous on this tag. Now we're going to go down here to the um, other part of it, and I'm going to swipe it with my finger, and there's the Happy New Year. Now I'm going to set this one to the side, and we'll let it dry while we work on this one right here. And I think this one's going to be beautiful with that pearl white bringing out the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year on this one. There's the Merry Christmas. I know it looks you know, not that great right now, but when we, it dries and we clean it off, it will hopefully be a really pretty tag.
Okay, you guys, we are back and I have some ribbons out here where we can run through our tags. All of them are finished up. We've cleaned them off and now it's time to pick out some ribbons for our tags. I think this beautiful white that says Merry Christmas is going to go wonderful with our gingerbread cookie mix. I think I'm going to cut it about right there. Now we'll take it. I sped this part of the video up a little bit because it took me a little while to get this done. I'm trying to find an entryway to get this ribbon through there. <laughs> well, I know where the entryway's at. It's just getting the ribbon through it. <laughs> There we go. I think I got it, you guys. I know it'll come through there. Okay. Now I got that straight. Now we're just going to take it and tie it one time. Like so. And there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Now, let's take our snowflake, and I think the same ribbon is going to look beautiful for the snowflake. So, I'm going to pull off the same amount, cut it off, and then we're going to go ahead and run it through the tag. I'm going to have to grab something to get this one through. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I think, there we go. Okay, I got it through there. I'm going to make sure they're even, and then we'll tie this one the same way. And then you can, um, after the person takes it off of their Christmas present, they can run one of the Christmas tree hangers through it and hang it on their Christmas tree, and it will be a Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I love doing these Christmas tags. Now we need to choose one for Santa. Which ribbon looks best for Santa? Oh, I think that one's looking fabulous. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some of it, trim it off, and then we're going to try to get it through this Christmas tag. This one here did give me a bit of trouble. I think it was because I got the wire because these ribbons have wire in them. I love working with ribbon that has wire because it just gives the ribbon more form to it. So I think some of the wire got caught in the uh, opening of the tag. So it kind of ripped part of my ribbon. But I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that. I'm going to get it through here and get it situated before I show you where it got torn at. Okay, I have it tied on there now. Now let me get it pulled out here. Now, see there? I tore a hole in it. So let me show you how we're going to fix that. We're going to take the ribbon and we're going to fold it over one time. Like that. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to angle it and then cut it. And then unfold it, and it gives us this beautiful finish on our ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to fold it in half. And then I take my scissors and angle it and cut it. And there it is. So stinking cute. <laughs> Now we have a one left, you guys. Let's see which ribbon's going to look the best for our Christmas trees. Okay, I think I'm a bit at war with the Merry Christmas and the um, berries. I think I'm going to do the Christmas berries. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it a little bit so I can get it through the little hole here. And I like how these Christmas tags have a nice hole there. It's a nice little slit 
to get enough ribbon through. It's not, you know, some tiny little hole. It's a pretty good slit in there. And now I'm just tying it the same way I did the other ones. And then we'll go ahead and cut the ends off in a pretty uh, finish. I'm just going to fold them over. And then cut. Fold them over. And then cut. And there it is. Turned out so cute. Now let's go ahead and get this one done. What do you guys think about these Christmas tags? Is there anybody else that would like to make Christmas tags? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to do these a little bit different. I'm going to uh, trim them from up instead of from down. And then it gives them a little bit different look at the end. Okay, and I'm going to do these the same way. Because I really like that look too. Let me know who else is going to be making uh, tags for their Christmas presents. And it gives somebody else, you know, the person you gave the present to, it gives them something extra special to take off of the gift and keep forever as a Christmas tree ornament. I think it's so neat and so personable. And here they are, you guys. What do you think about them? Well, it's about that time, my friends, for a sweet goodbye. And I will see you maybe tomorrow. If I don't, then you have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you.